Maybe you'll think I'll be overanalyzing. Maybe you'll be thinking I'll be going too far. But I would like to think I have an idea that's worthy of consideration. I see a trend in socialist and communist literature. I see they tend to use certain fonts, such as look at this one for socialist appeal, this one for workers' vanguard, this one for socialist action. Do you notice anything about these fonts? I think I do. Look at this one in particular. Look at Socialist Appeal. To me, that looks like a cartoonish font. Workers Vanguard is a similar type thing. Socialist Action has a bubbly font, too. Now, what is the ramification of this? To me, I think it's something very important. And it goes back to this. I used to use that font, or similar fonts. One such font is called Comic Sans. Now, I don't know 100% these are Comic Sans, but they're very similar. There's another one along those lines called Kirsten LTC or something like that. Whatever the specifics may be, they look like comic fonts. Now, what message is that sending? I believe the message is sending, they are sending by those fonts, is don't take me seriously. They may not realize that, and I'm pretty sure they don't, but that's a psychological message they are sending out. And that's a message I sent out. I've done a lot of revisions over time of my ideas in the past of the way I presented myself. I've gone through a lot of introspection, and I have made these things conscious. I brought them to conscious awareness, and I'm hoping to change them so I can be more effective and get more of my goals achieved. I believe this is one way the socialist groups are sabotaging themselves. Look at these cartoonish fonts. You don't think official. You don't think legitimate. You think ridiculous. You think, don't take me seriously. Now, let me consider an alternative view. I did grab a couple of other communist publications that do not necessarily affirm this thesis of mine. For example, I grabbed Revolutionary Communist Party newspaper, Revolution. To me, this isn't immediately cartoonish. It is a little bubbly, but it's not immediately cartoonish. Now, this is not to say, therefore, the Revolutionary Communist Party is 100% right. I think they're pretty far off. I think they do a lot of things wrong, the way they view the world, the way they go about achieving their objectives, the way they see things. I met some of them in person even, back in 2000. And this is also the Workers' World Party. Now this font isn't as bad as the three of them I showed you, but it's probably not the best either. I don't think it's Times New Roman, or Bookman, or any Ariel, maybe Ariel, but nah. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm an expert on fonts or anything, but some fonts like this is pretty clear different than some other stuff that's more official. The New York Times, they don't have a cartoonish font. The Wall Street Journal, they don't have a cartoonish font. Maybe it's because they are putting forth ideas that are more in line with the laws of the universe, whereas the socialists are not. They may think they're serious at some level. They may believe themselves at some level, but perhaps ultimately it's different. At a deeper level, they are doubting themselves because I don't think communism and socialism or revolutionary socialism, however you want to put it, is the deepest truth. Now getting back to Revolutionary Communist Party. Although here, on this newspaper, it's not as clear to me, if we take a look at their website, we can see it is more clear. Let's look at Revcom website. I don't know how well you can see this, and I know it's limited 
based on taking a video of a computer screen, but try to bear with it and try to see what you can see. To me, this looks like a Comic Sans type font. And this is, this is communism.org. It's certainly not the most professional font. It's not the font of somebody who is totally satisfied with their point of view at the deepest level. Now again, maybe I'm going too far. Maybe there is no significance of fonts. I would like to believe that everything we do has some effect and has some purpose and it reflects something. But I could be wrong. Maybe it's just all random.